Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Tuesday, December 7th, 2010. Well, folks, the markets had a monstrous gap up today on the back of a major commodity move and dollar drop. Since then, the dollar has recovered and actually gone to the positive side. And as we're seeing this late day kind of lighter volume session kick in, the markets are beginning to float up. This is on the back of a little micro pullback intraday on the dollar from where it currently was, and on the back of POMO Federal Reserve propping that continues to go on. All right, let's cover the basics because today was a big day for many, many reasons. First of all, the gap up took you to the key $124 level on the SPY. That was given out in the previous month, literally a month ago, gave that target out via the Research Center video and the intraday stock chat. Today, the market's gapped up. First thing I said in the intraday stock chat, this morning when we gapped up, this could be a short here look for a pullback off the 124 level. Sure enough, the market pulled back beautifully. Take a look. One, two candle was a pause, three, four to the downside. Then you kind of jumped around here a little bit. We talked about and actually called this one candle bounce for a couple different reasons. Note how there is no trend line on the chart there. However, if you go to the oil chart and the dollar chart, the dollar happened to be going into the 20 and the 50 moving average on an intraday basis right as you were at this low. What do we know about that? If it's going up into that level, and is going to pull back. So let's say the dollar is going into those two moving averages like it was. It's going to pull back off of those. You anticipate a bounce in the market. Use your brains, folks. That's the bottom line. There's too many pikers in this world out there that want easy handouts. Learn it. It's really not that difficult. And again, that's the key, folks. Too many pikers for sure. All right, bottom line is this. You got the little bit of a bounce right here in the market. As oil bounced off the 20, the dollar fell off the 50, and the 20 moving average on an intraday basis as well. That gave you a small bounce. Then the dollar started to head higher. That's what took down the markets here. Now, one other thing I'm going to say just for Research Center subscribers that are currently watching this video, this is only for you because you will understand it. Today was not a river theory. That's why you fell back down. And I called that right at the open, dead on call, which again, a river theory usually states that if you gap up, you're going to continue up. But this wasn't a technical river theory. Therefore, you were going to fall. And that's what you did from the highs of the day. Now, you are beginning to float up a little bit now towards the afternoon session as we are around that 1 p.m. Eastern time. couple reasons for that. Number one, as I said, POMO, lighter volume. As lighter volume kicks in, again, please note the lower candles right here. See how light they are compared to the rest of the day. Much, much lighter in here. As that happens, you're going to kickstart the POMO, which again, Federal Reserve is buying treasuries from banks, giving them the money for those treasuries, and again, the banks are utilizing them to keep the market propped up. So again, I do expect a positive day. I said that again this morning. I said I'd look for a fade here until lunchtime or so, but again, what you're going to say is, or what I did say to the chat room and the research center, for those of you that are in the research center, is you don't really expect a negative market. I've been going with that bias for quite a while here, and again, overall, you're going to expect neutral to positive going forward, really through Christmas on unless something happens in, in Europe, a major default again in one of these big countries, or something in Asia, North Korea, South Korea issue like that. Otherwise, neutral to positive, folks. Just believe it at this point. I'm staying very cautious on shorts overall. A couple shorts here and there. I called the FCX short this morning, put it on the Pro Trader watch list as well in the Research Center, but gave it to the chat room right here at 112.50 to 113 right up in this range. Beautiful short. You had a topping tail here. Plus, I noted that gold reversed. Gold reversed and went negative. As soon as I saw gold going negative, I said FCX, which was up two and a half, three dollars at the time. This is going to come back in. What a beautiful shorting opportunity it was. Look at that. It came all the way down from this level where the short was called out, right around here. Topping tail signal all the way down to the 20 moving average, basically to 111 for a good $2 or $1.50 to $2 shorting play on the FCX. And again, I don't even mind a, a short little level at the 114 if it gets back to 114, probably a decent short-term swing trade for a day or two to the downside. Um, I do think gold is making a possible near-term top, as is silver, and this is what I want to cover as the next part of the video. I think this is a very, very key thing as well. All right, we're going to go to the GLD chart, intraday. GLD gapped up today and reversed. Look at the reversal on GLD. It's right now down $1.55 after being up $0.50 cents at the open. What's going on there? I mean, what is really going on, I should say? Well, the hype was at a cataclysmic magnitude yesterday. It was unbelievable, folks. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was getting so bearish because everyone else was bullish. I was watching all these shows on CNBC, all these analysts, all these people. Oh, squeeze. JP Morgan's caught short with their pants down. Oh, oh, oh. Blah, 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 blah. BS. Bottom line is, when there's hype like that out there, the amateurs are going to run and buy. 
let me just put this up. And you can look at this. I actually wrote a little article on the blog. You can read as well, which dissects this very much so. Take a look at the chart of the SLV. Look at that move up. Tell me this. Answer me this. What idiot is buying here at the open today when you have a chart that has gone vertically higher? If, if anyone is buying there, they are an idiot, flat out. If you were buying it, you're an idiot. I'll be honest, right there. There's no way, especially with the hype. That's our motto, folks. Avoid the hype. All right? Enough BS on J.P. Morgan and their shorts. Oh, they're getting caught. They have to squeeze. They're going to get squeezed. J.P. Morgan was shorting, blah, blah. Nonsense. If J.P. Morgan wants to cause the silver market to go down, they'll cause it down. They'll get Goldman on board. They'll get Bank of America. They'll get Morgan Stanley on board. They'll do it. All right, now do I think they're short at the highs today? Yeah, probably, because now the top's in, because every little amateur was jumping on board this morning. I mean, it's just so, so silly, folks, and that's what I come on here to really drive through, and that's why I'm being a little brash right now, is because you have to learn these rules. If you don't lose these, learn these rules, you're going to be a losing trader, a losing investor. Start competing with the financials. Start competing with the institutions. Don't roll over and give your money away. It's too hard-earned, okay? Learn these lessons, folks. There is no time ever I will ever see a chart like this and go long. I don't care. I don't care what it is. It could be the cure for cancer. I will never go long on a chart like this. It's the stupidest thing in the world to do. Okay? Learn these rules, folks. The technical proprietary levels we teach in the Research Center are second to none. They compete with institutions. You will be competing with institutions on the cutting edge, as well as these stupid lessons that I'm having to go over right now because I feel like it's needed because there are too many people that were bullish on gold uh, just of, of just hearing over hearing stuff overall on the Internet and so forth. Too many people bullish on gold and silver yesterday. And again, the media helping that, obviously. They're at fault, too. The media is at fault. They're the ones pumping this kind of nonsense. You cannot do that. All right, too many little guys jump on board, and now you know what? They're going to get caught, and the little guy's the one that won't have the discipline to stop themselves out, and they're going to end up waiting. Now, again, do I think it's going to be a big pullback on silver? No, I actually don't. But nonetheless, I think there could be a little bit of a pullback. This is a pretty significant reversal, and then obviously you'll probably pop back up and go around. But I do think, again, that was probably a short-term little top this morning. We'll have to watch. And again, do, do realize the SLV hit $30 today. It's currently trading at $29. That's a dollar move on a $20, $30 ETF ridiculous huge movement all right let's go back to the dollar here's the dollar folks again you can see the gap down the dollars made its way up that's what's taken down this market a little bit off the uh off the highs of the gap up again no brainer off the 124 spy level i have the level right here let me just go over that on the intraday basis 124 if you go to my weekly chart you can see it too right up here is your 124 you can see the upper green line there's a lot of resistance on the weekly chart right in this range if you get through 124 125 is your next level but right now 124 is holding up all right uh, other than that you know what can you say this afternoon I expect the markets to kind of go sideways I think again the Fed is going to do their best to hold this market positive uh, it's a mediocre possibility here it looks like the Bush tax cuts will stick now for another couple years there's a bunch of other things it's adding to the deficit it's really not solving the problem in any way shape or form of deficit and running up more and more you know debt for this country that each individual of us has to worry about paying in taxes at some point in the future but that's the way our government operates right now so we just have to suck it up and learn how to trade if you learn how to trade you'll never have wants in your life because you'll always be making money again that's it year in year out make a nice chunk of change and you can just sit at home and do it yourself and that's the beauty of this game you can really be your own boss and you know what you make five thousand bucks in the first couple of minutes of the day trading so you take the rest of the day off and go to the beach. You go on vacation for the rest of the day or whatever you want to do. That is trading. That is the beauty of it. That is why In the Money Stocks is here to educate the average investor so they don't make mistakes, so they learn to be their own boss, so they make money and are self-sufficient from here on out. All right, enough said, enough of me rambling. Enjoy. Come join the Research Center now. Learn these. We will teach them again. I will be going over a lot of this stuff in depth tonight in the video. The river theory, for instance, why today was not a river theory and how you knew that the market was going to reverse. Take care. Talk to you soon.